Final Fantasy is such a dumb series. So dumb, in fact, that I actually woke up 5.30 in the morning to go to an event. So what this is, Final Fantasy is celebrating their 30th anniversary. Holy crap, it's been 30 goddamn years. I've only played it for like 5 or 10. I think it was 10. But today I'm going to present you a lot of what actually happened at this event, what my experiences are, maybe a little bit of the art pieces. I think you guys will actually enjoy this. And if you're LA local, there's no reason not to go. So let's get it underway and let's get going. Good morning, guys. I hope you're doing good. About to head out to the Final Fantasy event. Uh, we're starting to pack up. Good homie Ramiro is actually right here. We're actually going to be headed out to Alhambra. That's where the Final Fantasy Gallery Nucleus exhibit is going to be the 30th anniversary. And we start our journey at the beginning of the morning at like 6.30 a.m. I'm with my friend Ramiro. We're actually starting to slowly pack up our things and get ready to go to the Final Fantasy event. Of course, he has to come and cosplay with... A lot of different staffs and stuff. Drive up to Alhambra and we get there about 9 to 10.30. There isn't too many people, actually. There's actually quite a bit, but it's good that we went early. It was nice that we found parking. As soon as we got there, there was quite a bit of people, not too much, but I think it's good to actually go to these events early because you never know what's going to happen. I'm excited for that berserk. Thank you. Thank you, kid. The cool thing about these events in the past, Square Enix did a Final Fantasy event for Final Fantasy X. It was the same style of uh, art exhibit, but what they did, they actually did more of a first come first serve, so the first people who came in for ticketed events were able to go. This one was actually reserved on a first come first basis on their website. So I was actually fortunate enough to actually get a ticket and I was able to stand in a standby line. And from there, I was able to enter into the gallery. I was able to go in early. I have a 12 o'clock appointment for signing. Uh, this is beautiful, man. Oh, they got 10. They got 10. Well, look at this. This is a beautiful gallery. This is amazing. Now, the cool thing is, since I was one of the first people to get in, I was able to get a recording of everything before it actually went in. Before everyone actually went in the gallery, which is really awesome. So I was able to take a nice little gander. As you can see, there's a bunch of beautiful art pieces displayed on the wall from Final Fantasy 1 to 15. Each one having four frames, respectively, of their series. Some having a little bit more, such as Final Fantasy 15, but it was actually rather beautiful to see each one. A 10 is the best, and if you don't think so, please unsubscribe because I don't like you. Of course, there's stuff you could actually purchase too. So as you can see on the little pamphlet that I have for you, you can see some of the stuff that was on sale. You can find this on Square's store if you're actually interested in purchasing some. But you could actually purchase it beforehand before everyone else, so, so that was really nice to do. So the creme de la creme that actually went on in this event was the signing event. And in this event, we have Toshiyuki Itahana. He did the titles for Final Fantasy IX, Crystal Chronicles, and various other titles that you can see. But it was nice to actually have him as a character designer. I'm going to get into a little a bit of what he did later on that evening. But I basically gave them my ticket. I showed them that I was able and eligible to go. When you actually go upstairs, there's a beautiful little timeline that you could see as soon as you get from the top. It ranges from Final Fantasy 1 to Final Fantasy 15, showcasing both the English and the Japanese import, which is so cool to have them side by side together. And just to see like the NES cartridges, the Famicom cartridges, you know that smash it, so I had to go. Seal. That's the most garbage thing I've seen because they actually broke the seal. Square Enix, what the hell are you doing? Don't ever do that again. So I was actually able to get his signature for Final Fantasy IX, and in addition to that, they also gave a nice little art card that has Garnet in the front for Final Fantasy IX. It already has a signature there, and on the right corner it says 30th anniversary for Final Fantasy. So they know I picked this up at Gallery Nucleus, I picked this up on that day, so I love these little snippets that you can get. So after the signing, there's still quite a bit to go downstairs. There's a bunch of art pieces to go on display. There were a couple weapons too. Some of the trading cards that you could actually see on display as well. As well as different concept art from Yoshitaka Amano. You can see some of uh, Itahana's art as well. It's cool to actually be playing uh, Nine and actually knowing how awesome Vivi is and just seeing some of the art. I know I came late into the game, but that's pretty awesome. Also, I'm streaming it, by the way, so you should watch that. So various different artists that you could actually see and see what their arts are. And it's so cool because, for example, for Final Fantasy VII, you could see some of the, the pencil strokes and how they designed some of the Turks or some of the water strokes that you can see for some of the character icons for Seven. It is a really beautiful thing to actually see these up and close in person and see them on canvas. Now, just because there was some stuff inside doesn't mean there was some stuff 
outside. If you guys went outside of the exhibit, you could see a couple things. First of all, there was a nice little photo op that you can actually get. You could take some photos with the cup and noodles display that they had, so you can pitchforks if you want to. One I did. Afterwards, they give you a little cup noodle that you could get, you could take home. I didn't know they actually made seafood cup noodles, so this is my shit, and if you take this away from me, go away. On top of that, they also had a little trading card area where you could go play and learn how to play the trading card game for Final Fantasy. It's very cool to see like-minded people really get into that. There was also a boba truck, there was a couple little uh, places that you could eat as well, so that was nice that Square really went all around. But this does not conclude what actually happened at the event that day. Itahana actually had a surprise for all of us. He had a live drawing session, which is also ticketed. Uh, thank you for coming, Final Fantasy Gallery and uh, my red painted stage. <laughs> he did a live drawing from start to finish, from charcoal painting all the way to its finished product. And it's so cool to actually see that actually happening, to see him do little details, little strokes. It was absolutely fantastic. And when he finished it, it was a wondrous, beautiful piece of art. I low-key wanted to steal it because it's such a good art piece. But overall, this is pretty much what happened at the event. It was absolutely fantastic. I met with a bunch of great cosplayers, a bunch of great people, and just bumping into brand new people too. I love these kind of events just because it's such a communal-based event and everyone who goes there knows everyone so it's just, it is such a great experience to go if you actually want to attend remember that it's at alhambra at the gallery nucleus starts from december 2nd ends till january 7th so you have plenty of time to visit as of this video so i hope you go there take lots of pictures you're gonna absolutely love it so thank you guys so much for watching the video i really do appreciate it thank you to square enix for making such a beautiful event possible there was so much to see and do and seeing little pieces from their vault come out in display was a fantastic thing to see in itself so thank you guys so much i really appreciate it and i'm gonna let ramiro take it away from here Oh yeah.